In the meantime, you've heard of alkaline batteries, but what about alkaline water? Could that be the secret behind this life-changing slimming for one woman? Look at that. A doctor with a very different take on nutrition that seems to be working ahead on CNN Live Sunday. In our Fountain of Youth segment today, balancing your body chemistry to lose weight. A top research scientist says most of us take better care of our swimming pools than our bodies. And in his book, The PH Miracle for Weight Loss, he has a different take on nutrition. Author and Dr. Robert Young is joining me now from New York. And we've got lots of before and after pictures to show the folks out there. But Dr. Young, first explain this whole pH balancing thing and what it has to do with losing weight. Well, the pH uh, miracle and uh, balancing your fluids of the body is of utmost importance because there's some confusion here. It's not that we're overweight, it's that we're over acid. Because our bodies constantly need energy and there's a waste product and energy production, which are acids, if our body doesn't eliminate acids through urination, defecation, perspiration, or respiration, that acid gets parked on our hips, our thighs, our buttocks, our waistline, our breast, or in our brain, and this mm -hmm. is what makes us fat. So obesity or overweight is not a fat problem, it's an over acid problem. Okay, so balancing the, the internal pH of your body, how do you do that? It has to do with diet and what we eat? Well, you do it with what you eat, what you drink, even your thoughts can make you over acidic. And so it's really important to focus on more alkaline, more alkalizing foods like okay. spinach and parsley right, or wait, celery. I have to explain the side panel on the screen. We're listing a bunch of acidic foods. These are the foods you're saying that we should avoid: beef, chicken, dairy products. I mean, those are really the foundation of most people's diets. Well, the foundation of most people's diet, the standard American diet, is over acid. And when we're over acid, this is what makes us sick, tired, and overweight. So animal proteins and dairy products, even the wrong kind of water, acidic water, if we're eat, drinking carbonated water, these are acids that build up in the system. And if not eliminated, uh -huh. they build up in our fatty tissues, in our connective tissues, and it's acid that makes us fat. So you're saying that we should be more green. We should eat more greens, like you're listing leafy greens and cucumbers, olive oils. Exactly. We need to move more to an alkalizing diet. More green foods and green, uh, drinks and also good healthy fats. Uh, good healthy fats like from fish, sea bass, trout, salmon, even mackerel or tuna, mm -hmm. as well as uh, seed oils like flaxseed or hemp seed, yeah. olive oil. These fats can actually neutralize acidity and help us to become more healthy and more energetic and help us to maintain our ideal healthy weight. All right. So what do you eat for breakfast? I mean, you can't have cheese, you can't have eggs, you can't have dairy. Well, this is where my wife comes in. I mean, she has created some incredible recipes. Uh, Shelly, the co-author of The PH Miracle for Weight Loss, uh, has provided over a hundred recipes in the PH Miracle book mm -hmm. on how to alkalize. And one of the most important meals that needs to change right. is breakfast. And I know this may sound strange, but eating a, a salad or having a vegetable soup mm -hmm. uh, for breakfast or even some steamed veggies, broccoli or some spinach, even we, okay. uh, in the morning we make well, a, gr a green shake. Uh -huh. A green shake. A green right. shake with cucumbers and avocados. Rather than going to protein, okay. we go to alkalizing Tell kids. foods. Tell the kids it may not go over. Kick cereal looks pretty good sometimes at 8 o'clock in the morning. Let's show some of the results, okay? I mean, Excellent. taking a look at some of these pictures, it's hard to believe that these people lost so much weight by simply making those, well, they're pretty basic choices there. When you move to a more alkaline diet, you can lose up to a pound a day. And, and it's it, not it, about calories? It's not about calories, it's not about protein, it's not about fat, it's not about carbohydrate. It's whether or not the food is alkalizing to the fluids of the body uh -huh. or acidifying to the fluids of the body because our body is only as healthy as the water it's bathed in. Uh -huh. and, and the pH of our fluids is balanced at 7.365. And, and you, you also say that exercise can make you fat. So you're saying don't exercise? No, it's not that exercise is bad, Is when we over-exercise, we produce lactic acid, and that lactic acid is thrown out into the fatty tissues, which can cause the body to go into preservation mode, which can then also make us mm -hmm. sick, tired, and also fat. All right. You know what? If I don't have to count calories, and I don't have to exercise... <laughs> no, you, can, you have to exercise. Exercise Ow. is important. The most okay. important part of exercise is sweating. 
because you eliminate acids through perspiration. Right. It's when you over-exercise gotcha. it's not good for you, okay? Okay, Dr. Young. So definitely right. exercise. Okay, couldn't get away with it, could I? Thanks very much, Dr. Robert Young, author of The pH Miracle for Weight Loss. Okay, eat healthy. Don't forget to exercise.